our crew in the truck picked this up. That is someone's shoe. And then here comes Danica. And bam, mm. drop kicks it. And here is Danica's radio. Should I hit? Okay. See that? Window gets open because she carried too much speed into the corner. She was able to hold on to the spot, though, and it looks like there's no serious damage. Something's wrong with my steering. Yeah, she's now she is exactly what happened to the 23 of Stacy. Yeah, he gets back into the accelerator a little aggressive. You got to remember that the uh, tires are pretty much worn out at this point. He goes around up against the wall, and what's for, what the problem is here is he just can't. He can't go anywhere, you know? The car might still be running, but he can't go anywhere. Trying to turn the car around, nearly got into the, the front of Jacques Villeneuve. And luckily, Jacques was slowed enough that uh, he had time to take the evasive action and keep his car out of harm's way. Getting into turn 13, gets in a little hard and gets across the apron, the curb. Kept it off the wall. Yeah, and that's just, that's, that's a compromised position to be in with all those cars coming down that into turn 13. Yeah, you're almost, he's almost right at the exit point of that car. Dexter was two laps down in 34th. Yeah, and you can see the damage is already done with a left front tire, and then he oh, finishes it off a big impact in the outside of the, the wall. The way he went straight through the turn, you know, it almost looked as though he might have had a brake problem. Bill Neuf and Billy Johnson hoping that the two of them take each other out and they're into each other. And here goes Bill Neuf. He's going to turn that him. That is payback. That was payback. He never lifted, Marty. He never lifted coming off a of turn two. So Bill Neuf takes over the race lead. Billy Johnson moves up to second. And Brendan Gaughan is in third. What a run for Gaughan. Yeah, we're going to watch a replay of this. And you follow along with me. He never lifts after he gets him sideways. Let's, let's just listen to this. <laughs> the throttle, the throttle tells the whole story. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm. Ooh, oh, Tagliani yeah. forces his way. He sure did. And now he's gonna have to bang into Hornish, and he somehow manages to take the lead. Yeah, and this is in the in the past. This is where Villeneuve has come unglued. He needs to. Gets rammed by the 18 of McDowell, and he is into the barrier. Has to get going. Championship points at stake here. He gets back out onto the track. And I think Sam was being cautious, being careful, and he, get, he got run over. Well, here's what happened. That's the first one where McDowell, you said, you're right, he just ran over him. Yeah, he did. He, uh, he just carried way too much speed into the corner. Now that puts Sam back at around, oh, 18th, 19th position. Here's the view from Jacques Villeneuve's camera. Yeah, you see the wheel hop. That was a great angle. Showed us that the right rear tire was locked. Here's Sam's view. This is from Sam Hornish. Now here's the second incident. And that is the 59 of Kyle Kelly turning Danica. Oh, and then the 01 of Mike Wallace tries to take an evasive move and collects the 12 of Sam Horn. Yeah. Kyle Bush. This is a corner that you wouldn't normally pass. And uh, I think I don't think that Ron expected him to, to make the move underneath. Kyle's obviously sizing him up here, going through the right hander, number five and that the two of them take each other out and they're into each other and here goes build up he's going to turn him it's payback that was payback he never lifted marty he never lifted coming off a of turn two so Villeneuve takes over the race lead billy johnson moves up to second and brendan gone is in third what a
<laughs> the throttle, the throttle tells. The to the 81 of Jason Bowles. Classic wheel hop. It's when you don't match the revs on the downshift. The only way to get out of a wheel hop is to either push in the clutch or tap the accelerator. That's a hard thing to do as a driver when you've overshot the corner. Look at Tagliani coming in deep. Contact back there with Gone in the 33. Tagliani goes around again. And now Gone goes around. Sadler somehow gets through in the two. And Sam Hornish gets through in the 12. Boy, there's a lot of debris in that corner. John Villeneuve focusing on hitting his marks. The idea of getting back to the white flag. We get back to the white flag, then it's official. Bliss, he's got all kinds of damage. The potential exists for a crazy restart because turn one and two are so tightly bunched together. Watch, three wide entering turn one won't work. Brennan Gong gets crossed up corrects into Alex Tagliani. Then, when you get a car in the grass, you're along for the ride. Can't steer, can't brake. You see the three of Austin Dillon, the two, and the 12. All the championship contenders got through. Here's another look. <laughs> Something's gotta give here. This is all about the drivers you know, going for the win. I, you know, when, when you're put in this position as a driver, again, you become very narrow-minded. You use up other drivers, become very selfish. Now we're going to ride along with Alex Agliani as we restart contact. There you see Stenhouse getting back underway in the background. And let's go back and show you exactly what happened to Ricky. He actually didn't get any help. Well, he actually had contact with the 22 car, and then you see everybody else spinning behind. Oh, there goes yeah, Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, Kyle gets hit in the right rear. That's what put the 24 in. Now watch this contact between the 6 and the 22. Yeah, you know what? Ricky couldn't, couldn't slow down. Ricky uh, carried too much speed into the corner, and... Uh, couldn't slow down, and as a result, got into the back of the 22, got the back of the the back of the car up in the air, and spun. There's the damage on the 87, as you can see, the 51 of Jeremy Clements.